remind everyone that we're being recorded live. Okay, I've had one sip of coffee so far. Um, bear with me. So I'd like to, uh, this is May 21st, 2020. Uh, it's the Main Street Advisory Board meeting and welcome everybody. It's awfully uh, dreary outside, but very good to see your faces. And with that, let's uh, go ahead and See if we can uh, start the meeting out with the secretary's report and any approval of uh, any approval of minutes. I think everyone should have received the minutes. Yeah, the, the minutes in the packet are from the April 16th meeting. Perfect. Um, do we have a, a motion for approval of the minutes? Can this I move that we approve the message. <laughs> Do we have a second? Yes, I'll second. Thank you, Jim. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to our staff report. All right. Good morning. Um, I've only had about three sips of coffee, so I'm uh, far by, uh, ahead of Angela. Um, so our so just a quick reminder when phase one opened um uh, approximately two weeks ago um our retail businesses opened we worked with them on signage uh each of them had um, hand sanitation stations at their front door um most of their the most, most of their uh staff wore masks and were um extremely diligent in trying to follow follow the safety protocols which was really good um they've done pretty well on the weekends um businesses has a uh, business has our activity has been slow during the week um from what they uh, kind of reported but on the weekends it's um they've done pretty good as of the governor's press conference last night at five o'clock, uh, phase two um, opens uh, tomorrow, Friday at five o'clock. It's slightly modified from um, what they originally thought. Um, and so uh, so they scaled, scaled back just a little bit on um, businesses that can open. So restaurants, salons, barbershops, they can open at 50%. Um, gyms, bars, um, any other large rev, um, venue type spaces, um, they are still, um, they still remain closed. So they're not um, able to open. Uh, so we've, we've been working with our restaurants, trying to get them ready. Um, and, and our, so we'll, I'm sure they're all excited that they'll be able to open um, starting tomorrow. Um, on the SBA, on our um, our city loan program, we've still we've only awarded seven applications uh, to date. Uh, we did have two applications um, that were approved. One um, applicant decided they were going to wait and not accept the money to see if they can um, charter the waters. And, um, we still have another applicant that they are trying to decide if they still want to sign, um, uh, you know, the the documents and and uh, so they're I think they're trying to hang on, but we'll we'll hopefully we'll hear from them soon. Um, this past week, we had two of our our businesses that accepted a ten thousand dollar loan actually receive other funding. Uh, and are paying the city back. One has already sent their check in. The other is waiting for the payoff. Um, and so we've had other business activity. We actually had three new businesses recently open. Um, one is Magnolia Vine um, next to um, the Lyrely Agency. Um, beautiful shop. Uh, if you haven't been in, you need to check them out. Um, that's uh, Cindy Knowles and Kim Watson. They used to be in partnership with uh, Poochie. It, it surprised me. So it's a very nice um, high-end um, gift shop, interior decor. 
Uh, so really great addition to downtown Belmont. Um, of course, the other two um, are Jekyll Hyde and Primal Brewery. So now they're opening um, up, you know, kind of for takeout on me. And, um, and so, but we're excited to have them kind of getting back open and, and look forward to uh, uh, having them in downtown. Um, Madam Chair, I believe that's all I have for my Main Street report. So uh, are there any questions, anything that I might have overlooked or any questions about any activity? Okay, um, thanks, Bill. And it's exciting to hear three businesses have opened up. Mm -hmm. That's great progress. Not many people can, not many towns can say that, I'm sure. Um, I forgot. I was going to say also that, you know, of course, we do have uh, three vacant buildings right in the heart of downtown. Um, one or two being uh, Jonathan Taylor's. We do have a tenant for the right side. Um, formerly, um, the insurance company, so we don't have the tenants, um, ready to come in there. Jonathan was working with someone else on the left side. He was hoping to have one tenant take over both buildings and we were working with, a um, a restaurant and, um, through the COVID-19, they backed out. Um, so I've, I've communicated with Matt and Matt Nada on the old um, Happy Dog Cafe space. And um, they've had some interest and so we'll, we'll, we'll continue to work on trying to secure a tenant for that location as well. It's a very prime location, so it's a good yeah, one. Both, both yeah, all three spots are very prime. Yeah. So um, guess we'll be moving on next to our committee reports, uh, Emily. With us, Emily. She was earlier. I am here. It trips me up that I have to, if even though I'm calling in on my phone, I have to hit unmute on the computer. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay. Um, design committee. So starting at the top of the list, the side enhancement grants. Um, Phil let me know uh, last week that there is a new application that's going to be coming in for review. So hopefully um, in the beginning of our new fiscal year, we will have something to present for approval. Um, so that's exciting. Public art, we did submit last week for a grant, the AARP Community Challenge Grant, and it's for a community art board is what I call it. And what it is, it's a mural. Part of it would be permanent, and part of it would be temporary and allow us to interact with the public on the actual mural. Maybe post questions or have them draw something, um, just fun ways to interact our community. And the space um, we are targeting is the everyday market, um, the old Caravan Coffee. So on the side of their building that faces the railroad track is the old Caravan Coffee painting. And we would be looking to replace that with this new community art board mural. So we won't hear back until August if we were awarded. And um, so that's fun and exciting. So everyone cross your fingers for us. And Angela, did you um, have anything to add for that? I, I did not, but I'm just so proud of this committee. It's so great. I love that we're uh, applying for grants and uh, you know i think there's a lot that's out there and i think this is wonderful thank you thank you for doing all that work oh, thank emily, you for your support emily can i chime in um real quick on that um sure the the committee did communicate with vince and and brenda they're excited about the project uh, majid the new um tenant who has the everyday market is also extremely excited about the project and uh, they are committed to um, help really clean up that side area. Um, I think trim up the tree and maybe do some other little landscaping projects to really enhance that side of the building. See, that's great. That's exactly what happens when you start to invest 
when, when a group comes in and starts to improve something, then it sort of flourishes. It's fantastic. All right, thank you. Wayfinding, so I have two updates here regarding the kiosks. Um, one of them is you may have noticed we now have a newer screensaver that is shop local, support local. Um, it also now has video capability. So when we first went live, it was just static images rotating like a traditional computer screensaver. Um, but now we have the ability to add video to that too as well. So that's exciting and something we'll be looking to use for sure um, in the future. And the second update regarding the kiosk, drum roll please. <laughs> we are finally live with the to do and see category. Um, that one was a huge challenge. It took a lot from the company that built it to come up with ways to figure out how to do what we asked them to do and they did. Um, one thing I do ask, there's a lot of functionality here. And if you, and since we're still in quarantine and we don't have too many people on our Belmont streets, if you happen to go by one, please touch it, interact with it to do and see and give us feedback if anything's funky or missing. Um, there was a lot of hours spent between Angela, Cassidy, Bill, and me um, putting this together. So if you could help us test it out um, there's also a really cool function called This Week, where in the back end it will look at today's date plus seven days, and you can see right there in front of you things that are happening in our community. Um, very cool things have going on. So I think at one point, Angela, when we were testing it, we all saw that there was a medieval writing class, or I mean, just something crazy that you wouldn't know. And um, now we have the ability to have that those cool things that our community does on our kiosk. So, Angela, Phil, I know you've been a part of this. Anything to add? Yay. <laughs> yes. yeah, no, yeah, thanks to you. The two of you have really kind of taken this bull by the horns. And and I, I will say one thing that now that this is Angela kept saying as we were developing this is, Oh my God, I didn't didn't know we had all these really cool things going on right here in downtown or in the surrounding area. So we feel like once things really open back up and the community actually sees the capabilities of this, they're going to realize all these really cool things that they can do that they didn't realize were happening in Belmont. Precisely. Yeah. The kiosk is already getting utilized um, in important ways. I mean, just like with um, the Mont Cross is having a, a virtual bike ride to help raise money because it's in trouble. So, you know, last night we uploaded a, a uh, we did an uploaded a, a graphic to the, a track loop to sort of notify people of that. And then it's also on the, we added it into the this week last night. So it's, it's so immediate too. Um, it, it's really adaptive and very functional. And um, so if folks are coming out to restaurants tonight, uh, this weekend, they'll be able to know of this virtual bike ride and support the, the Montcross Chamber. And that's sort of come, come around pretty quickly. So I don't think there's been a lot of advertising for it. So um, I, I just think it's a, I'm just really excited, really excited to see the responses um, and for everybody to be able to utilize it. So thank you, every, thank you, Emily, for your yeoman's job uh, in all this too. Yeah, thank you. Now our next challenge is expanding the capabilities of the kiosk and challenging ourselves to think outside of the box as well as the company that develops the software for us. Um, so, thank you all. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. We are known to be creative. Okay, design guidelines. Um, as you all know, we're creating guidelines that if a new owner comes in, they could look to um, to help with their design of whatever they're doing. It wouldn't have any teeth. It's just guidelines. Um, and so just an update, we are currently meeting every two weeks now. It used to be monthly. 
and we are making progress. It is a long process, but we are chipping away at it, and hopefully by the end of this year, if not sooner, way sooner than that, we'll have something to present to you guys for feedback. Belmont Go app. So um, if you've all seen on, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, Emily, just on the last topic, um, uh, we have a new planner on board, uh, Tiffany Farrow, and she has uh, degrees in architecture. And so if you would like her to attend any of your meetings to help uh, uh, with some feedback uh, on them, I'll be happy to connect you to would be amazing. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I will reach out to you offline. Okay, Belmont Go app. So as some of you have seen probably on social media, the cool 3D videos, I think Belmont Specialty Foods was the first. Um, so you can actually see inside their store and get a cool view. Um, on our last design call, the question was posed could we somehow incorporate these into our Belmont Go app and help promote our businesses on our app? So we are researching that and we'll keep you updated on maybe some new functionality coming to the Go app. And that is all I had for design. Angela, Phil, um, did I miss anything that we need to talk about here today? No, but you just heard, thank you for that. It just reminded me, I just made myself a note um, to reach back out to John Cunningham because we had played some phone tag, but now I need to circle back with him about setting up some more, um, some more videos. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks, Emily. Um, Economic Vitality Committee, Mark. Okay, thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to, to thank everybody for what they're doing for the economic vitality of downtown Belmont. I feel like, you know, we're kind of all part of economic vitality nowadays. And uh, you folks are doing a lot of, a lot of great things. Um, we, um, we've done a few things. Uh, one of the things we did, we felt like it was important to send out a letter to our uh, General Assembly representatives, our legislators, thanking them for their service, and also, you know, kind of letting them know uh, what we have been doing uh, here in Belmont. Uh, and um, we also wanted to kind of mention, you know, not not telling them what to do, but kind of mention that, uh, you know, we hope that uh, and believe that Grant assistance is, is something that is very important because you know loans are good especially these low interest loans but when people are so bad off you know a, a grant may sound more appealing and uh, we're also um, so we did that and also uh, Phil has been sharing information with us and and uh, what we're trying to do is is uh, help him look through some of the emails and things that are out there and uh, I've encouraged uh, members of our committee to if they see something that really looks good to uh, you know emphasize that as well uh, then we also decided to send out a letter uh, to our landlords and, and uh, tenants as well uh, you know if we want to keep this uh, downtown, viable and ready for business, then uh, these folks need to work together. And they, you know, landlords have different challenges than tenants have, but at the same time, you know, if you, if you don't have, if a tenant doesn't have any customers and a landlord doesn't have any tenants, then that's a lose-lose situation. So we're just encouraging them to work, work together uh, through this letter uh, that we sent out. Um, we also, at our last meeting, reviewed our work plan because, just to be honest with you, some things have changed. And um, 
you know, and it's really changed our work plan. I mean, some of the, for example, some of the Ezra data that we, we've looked at, uh, you know, and the surveys, things like that, we've kind of put on the, the back burner. You know, we felt like businesses with all the problems that they're trying to deal with, all the challenges they're trying to deal with, they're not, you know, big into surveys. Uh, and in, in fact, uh, the the lack of response on our surveys uh, pretty well indicated that as well. So we've made some changes there. Uh, one of the, the big things that we're working on right now, uh, Phil uh, sent us some information from the North Carolina Main Street program. They, they have now have a relief section on their uh, work plan. And for and I guess you've all seen this because it's you know for for each of our committees, and um, you know so what we're trying to do is also include that in our work plan, and uh, we've just now started working on that, and so that's something that we're going to continue to work on. Uh, and uh, other than that, so anyone have any questions? I don't have any questions, but I have to commend you because I've been seeing the emails that are going back and forth between your committee. Everybody's so everybody's attending webinars like whenever they see something about any of these uh, this small business loans or you know opportunities um, they'll that are in webinars or where things are being explained. Your the, their committee, the economic vitality committee, is stepping up and people are saying, oh, "I can attend this or I can attend that," and they're uh, sharing information with. You know, um, cooperatively and and uh, working with Phil and I just I think it's great. You guys have really stepped up to the task and thank you. It's a good good group of, of folks. Yeah, Mark, I I, I too want to I, I really appreciate because you know we're getting a lot of information about different types of resources and it was just impossible for me to like calm through everything and so i really appreciate the ev committee for assisting because y'all have caught some things that i've overlooked and then we you know sent that to some individual businesses for resources for help so i really appreciate the help that um that y'all have uh, really stepped up and are doing glad to do it right. um thank you mark and if no one has questions for mark we can move to the um, promotions committee sister nancy Good morning, all. Um, we had a really good meeting um, last week and wanted to give you all an update on the virtual 5K. It raised approximately $4,500. And the question was raised, do, should we do another one? And also, I think the koozies are coming in this week. So um, they'll be uh, distributing those as soon as that comes in. Liz um, did a relief concert. We had a meeting yesterday. Let me pull up those notes. Um, everything is moving along um, wonderfully well. There's active committees uh, working around, working in the background to make sure that this happens. Uh, marketing is kind of on hold. Um, and Jim is working on our contracts um, on that subcommittee, but it's a little early for that group too to do anything. Um, MK and Kevin are working with um, Phil on our entertainment. Jennifer has agreed to be responsible for the volunteers, but here again, until we have more um, more substance on the framework, uh, it's a little hard to to know. And we also have not yet set a date for that concert. Um, Anybody have anything, uh, Angela, anything else to add to that? Um, just, like, just like what I said with Mark, thank you, because I know that committee has like eight different subcommittees. Um, they're meeting, um, you know, every two weeks we're having the planning meeting and then in between that all these subcommittees are meeting. There's just a ton of time being put into this relief concert, but it's going to be so worth it because it's going to be huge. Um, and really exciting, you know, the date is, is only because we've got some amazing talent that are coming and, and we just are waiting to hear what, what works for everyone for that. Um, so 
but that's not stopping people to think about it and plan because it's going to be big and it's going to require a lot of planning and and a lot of people giving their time. And I'm so excited too that it has the the this committee has the private businesses and you know as well as you know organizations and and the city and it, it's just a nice uh, combination of an example of how if we all kind of pull together we rise. So awesome. It's going to be really exciting and probably I think it'll. I know Belmont is on the map, but I think this will really put us on the map because this is something that no one else is doing and it's it's going to be as Angela said, it's going to be huge. And 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 I don't want to lose focus on the site that our goal is to raise um, a su significant amount of money and all proceeds will benefit our businesses to help pay off debt that they incurred during this process. And so I feel like we're going to do some really good things for the city, but more importantly, our downtown businesses. Exactly the point. Yeah. I have a question. Sure. I know we're on a recorded line, but are you able to share the band yet? I don't think that that has been solidified yet. And so we would not want to do that right at this moment in time. But I, I, I will answer some of those. Um, Kevin is well connected in the music industry, and he has some good friends um, that are willing to help step up um, and help out because they understand it's for a good cause. He also represents um, some low, um, some um, younger up and rising talent um, that he is working on as well. So. Um, it'll be a good variety of music, country, rock, um, and so it'll be some well-known people that would be a big draw for downtown. Okay. Any, any other questions on the concert? Okay. So the summer concerts are pretty much a bust at this point in time. Um, however, um, we're looking at possibly moving the July 4th concert to be a virtual concert and may, and try to keep that one. Um, also, we are still looking at moving forward with the Thursday night pops. And so that will be, um, that more information will be coming on that. Um, it was suggested that we possibly move the other concerts to evenings in the fall like a Saturday night concert. Um, and then um, we're still not able to have large crowds over 10. So until that kind of loosens up, we really won't know what we can do as far as our concerts go um, for the fall. Um, we also were looking at um, some different ways to generate revenue in order to replace not necessarily replace, but to help fund our activities that move forward because we're very dependent on the summer concerts, primarily the beer sales, uh, for our funds to, to do other things. So some of the ideas we had were t-shirt sales, um, an open mic night, a virtual open night, open mic night, a virtual kitchen uh, cooking show, so those were some of the ideas and we'll just kind of keep looking at those and possibly putting, you know, more, uh, getting more information for them. Um, we're still looking at welcome back students. Um, the tentative date was set out for the national night out, which is in August. Here again, that will depend on where we are with COVID-19 and also where the, the college is as far as bringing students back on campus. So I'm looking, I will be calling them to check on what's going on um, later on. And we also, we too are looking at working, uh, looking at our work plan in order to adjust it and so that we're more, um, more in line with what's actually happening versus what we wanted to happen. And so that is all I have. Any questions? Thank you very much. Uh, I, I, I do want to chime in. I really appreciate the point, Sister Nancy, that you pointed out about um, our budget. 
and the need for um, somehow trying to come up with additional revenue to replace what we're missing on Friday Night Live, I think that'll be very evident in uh, Mark's financial report. Thanks. Any, any Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you, Sister Nancy. Um, thank you for that ominous uh, note there, Phil. <laughs> and uh, we can uh, move on to the organization committee, Seth. Um, so, as many of you know, um, we the with the monies that were that were raised with um, just all everything for the for the relief fund, um, we purchased PPE equipment um, for our downtown businesses, our main street businesses. Um, and Monday we had like a packing party, and um, yesterday we distributed those throughout our, to our main street businesses, the ones that were open. Um, during lunch, so um, we got some great response, kind of telling the story to our business owners of, you know, how we're helping um, support them in this time, um, so they can be open to to re be ready to open and safely um, tomorrow, um, as the governor, um, as those regulations are, are are laid out for them. Um, and so we had some great pictures that were taken um, again to kind of tell the public that story of what those funds have been used for and what um, and how we are you know using those monies and those funds to support our businesses and, and what we do um, as an organization um, and how we support our businesses. So um, that was awesome. I Phil got those um, pictures and I think you Angela, he sent those to you last night as well. Um, so we can, so we can publicize that there, there was a lot of businesses that were really, that were really grateful and, um, some were happily surprised to, to, to see that. So it was really great. Um, the next thing, um, is kind of looking, looking forward on how we're going to approach, um, you know, typically we approach certain businesses for sponsorships and, and things like that for our events. Um, and just the mix, this, this crisis and, and the financial burden that a lot of our businesses are, are facing right now, we're going to have to kind of maybe modify um, how that approach and, and what that'll look like. So we're, our committee is coming up and, um, you know, here in the future, we'll be coming up with some creative ideas and, and ways to, to go about that and what that's going to look like. Um, so, yeah, and we're also in the process of, um. Angela and I are in the process of looking at creating a subcommittee um, for grants, just for grants to accumulate that, to, to be able to send that um, information out to our, our businesses um, on top of the other resources that we're giving them so we can give them um, some more of those resources. Does anybody else have anything else to add? And Seth, I would say that the grants are also like our search of grants can also be grants for our own organization um, because it, I think it yeah. takes about, you know, the statistics, I think, say it takes about five to six grant applications for you to actually get one awarded. Um, so what I would love for this group to do, especially since our usual funding resources are a little different now, is maybe take some focus on. Uh, what we can do, and that is certainly one thing we can do. There, there are grants out there for all different kinds of purposes. Um, and I appreciate your committee um, looking at at being responsible for, for you know, being the search for that because that's the, the sometimes it, they're out there, but sometimes it just takes a little effort to find them. So, yeah. All right. Any other questions for uh, Seth? All right, thanks, Seth. Um, we will, uh, from my chair report, I'm just going to save my comments for the DVDA section um, of the meeting. And is there any other new, other questions or new business? Okay. Um, in that case, do we have a motion to adjourn the Main Street Advisory Board meeting? I motion. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Mark. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great.
Thank you all. So 